are some scenes from the first part of tonight's story. What are we expecting to find up here at the top of this tower? <laughs> the red file. baby after Sue Ellen meets with Buzz and makes arrangements to purchase the baby she brings the mom Rita shopping and then she sets her up in a nice apartment right here of course JR put the kibosh on that idea and sent Rita packing to California Meanwhile, Pamela's ex-husband, Ed, shows up, claiming they're still married. In episode six, Double Wedding, Cliff and Pamela and Bobby come here to City Hall to get the records about her annulment. You can see behind me, there used to be a really big fountain. There was these big red balls in the middle of this whole thing with water. And now, as you can see, it's not water anymore. It's all dried up. So they go inside to the uh, records department here at uh, Dallas City Hall. Yeah, they enter through these doors right here. Aunt Maggie's house shows up in episode two and episode six. First in episode two, this is where Digger is staying when he's sobering up and Pam comes to visit him a few times. And they also filmed inside here. And then in season six, this is where Digger brings home Pam's ex-husband. And this is where he steals the annulment papers. Nasty Ed Haynes. Now we're at the Days Inn on Market Center Boulevard. This is where Pam's ex-husband is staying and Bobby shows up and they have some words. Yeah, so right back here is where uh, the pool was where him and the ex-husband were, were exchanging those words. The pool is gone now, it's mm -hmm. been filled in and it's just a little grassy area now. Later, Cliff and Digger go back to confront him, and then he ends up, they get another skirmish, and then later on, they come back again and the guy has split. He was trying to get money out of Pamela. Didn't work out. In episode six, Double Wedding, here we have Digger, Cliff, and Pamela and Bobby, they all have lunch together to talk about some issues they're having with Ed Haynes. They actually are eating here on the patio at Ozona, which is behind us. But back in the day, this was called Cardinal Puffs, and it was a big hangout spot for SMU students. In fact, the entire patio was built by SMU students, and it was rumored to have been, they were, they were paid in beer. <laughs> So we're gonna see if we can go and sit out on the patio where they actually had that meal. So this one was really tricky to figure out and I was really struggling. So I put it out to our Facebook friends on my Dallas history group. And I put some pictures of the restaurant in the patio and I asked them, where do they think it was? It took a few people to figure it out, but the resounding result was Cardinal Puff. Now it's called Ozona, but I still wasn't sure if that was right. Then I was watching the very next episode, episode seven, The Runaway. And um, in this episode, Lucy runs away. We're gonna show you the places to that. Bobby stops at a gas station to look for Lucy. What did I see on the gas pump? A Cardinal Puffs coaster. Stuck on the gas pump. That's crazy. Strategically placed by the producers, I'm pretty sure, to cover up an advertisement or something. They must have been like, oh, we need to cover that up. Hey, it's like, hey, I got this coaster in my car. <laughs> Here's a coaster from yesterday. Let's just put that on there. So once I saw that Cardinal Puffs uh, coaster on that shot, I knew we had found the right place. Yeah. So we're going to try some food here. I'm pretty excited to try it out. in the area 
that looks a lot like where they were sitting in this show. Except from the presence of Cliff Barnes. Cliff Barnes, except this fireplace back there wasn't there. In episode six, Bobby is out in a field with some parishioners bidding for a job to build the home for wayward boys. I just want to say, Bobby is a multi-talented guy. I mean, in one episode, we have him riding a bucking bronco in a rodeo. He also runs the cattle ranch. And then later, he runs Ewing Oil. And in this episode, he's bidding for a construction job. He's, I mean, he's a man of many hats. He, he is. So this is actually the Trinity River Bottom. We did some stealth. Actually, Keith here did a lot of a detective work to figure out where they filmed this location. And we finally figured out, we think it's right around this area. If you look it up on your um, Google Maps, it'll come up as Trammell Crow Park but it's the Trinity River bottom. A couple hints we had were this building here. This is the Dallas Anatole, and you can tell by the uh, weird roof line um, what building that is, and you can see that over the shoulder of a couple of the women parishioners uh, in that scene there. And also, right here, you can see this double tree behind them as well. So, those two landmarks and this nice grassy area leading to a backdrop of downtown and you can see that nice reunion tower in that scene as well so pretty certain we're pretty close to where that was filmed out here the thing i remember about this area is um we used to come down here to watch fireworks and we'd all sit out on like bring a picnic and sit here on the hill and watch the fireworks over the Trinity River, and that's a really fond memory I have from my childhood. Pretty much the only reason I ever came out here. Behind us is Cliff's campaign headquarters. Now it's a parking lot. <laughs> Sorry guys, the building's not here anymore, but you can definitely tell it was here where this parking lot is. And in the shot where Pamela comes to visit him, you see her pull off and drive away right this way down this road. You can sort of see City Hall off in the distance and a few other buildings. The rest of it looks the same. In episode seven of season two, Lucy runs away from home. Why in the heck would anyone want to leave beautiful South Fork? Speaking of South Fork, this is the first season that was filmed at South Fork Ranch in Parker, Texas. Be sure to check out our other video where we toured South Fork, linked below. Outdoor ranch scenes, the garage, and that familiar patio set were all filmed at South Fork for the first seven episodes of season two. Exterior sets of South Fork were then recreated at MGM Studios in California, including the famous swimming pool. Interiors for South Fork Season 2 were filmed in the elegant Calder House, located at 4800 Park Lane in Dallas. In 2017, it was for sale with an asking price of $13 million. Rooms at the Calder House were also recreated at MGM Studios. Here is the original dining room, and here is the set. Beginning in Episode 8, these sets would be used for the remaining seasons of Dallas. Now let's get back to the story of Lucy running away. In Episode 7 is one of my favorites. It's called The Runaway, and this is the one where Lucy gets her feelings hurt because she doesn't have any say in her birthday party and she wants to invite her parents and she runs away. She takes JR's car and she runs away to 
San Antonio. But on the way to San Antonio, she stops right here. This used to be a Stuckey's. Near Waco, but actually we are in Waxahachie. Yeah, they changed the facade. It has a flat uh, roof line here on the front, so you don't have that traditional stucky look. But mm -hmm. we'll, we'll show you the side in a minute. You can see the uh, back half of the roof still kind of looks like the old stucky roof line, except it was blue. It was yeah, it was in blue. The show. Yeah. And um, she actually goes in there and has a meal, and this is where things go awry because remember she meets that kind of shady guy and he takes her on quite an adventure which we will show you all of those places but first let's go inside the old stucky So here we are at the old Stuckey's. It looks really different. Um, so she, Lucy would have gone through this door right here, but it's not actually a functioning door anymore. See, it's blocked off. So you have to go through the other door. Um, the little restaurant area is still here and the little booths and stuff, but um, the windows are all covered up. So it looks very different. And now it's a Mexican food place, but it smelled really good in there. I'm sure their food is probably delicious. We didn't get anything. Just keep got some water. All right. So on the side, you can see the old Stucky roof line in the back there. And if you look over there on the other side of the van, there's a door, and that's where Lucy would have ran out of. So after she leaves the Stuckies here, Lucy hitchhikes on 35 because she ditches the car because the police are after her because the car has been stolen. And now she catches a ride with this guy who ends up being a real weirdo and he has a funky van. He's a total loser. Yeah, he is. So somewhere here along I-35, Lucy then hitchhikes. And that's where the mayhem ensues, ensues after that. He kind of holds her hostage and he convinces her to enter a singing contest to try to win some money. It's supposed to be Austin, but it's actually here in the Oakland area, right behind us at this Roundup Saloon. So even under duress, Lucy does an awesome job and really delivers singing Silver Threads and Golden Needles. Here's a fun fact about Charlene Tilton, the actress who played Lucy is the exact same height as me and I am 4'11". Keith's actually standing down. You can see. <laughs> we often film on curbs so that I can be a little bit taller. That's our little movie magic, our little vlogging secret there. A couple landmarks here that helped us validate that we were in the right area. This is firehouse directly behind us. Now the big building behind it is new. It wasn't around uh, in the 80s. On the corner where the police pull in, there was a grocery store here called T&M. It's right across the street from the saloon. At the end of Lucy's performance, he grabs Lucy and they run out the back door here behind the business. And they, you see the sign again, the overcomer sign that's definitely just a handmade sign that they threw up there. But anyway, they run out the back exit and they're, they're taken off and here come the police. And Bobby. And Bobby, Remember yes. Bo Bobby, Bobby actually goes up there and tries to get him to swap out Lucy and hold him hostage. Well, Bobby gets over there, he goes all, all Hulk on him and <laughs> takes him out. Bobby is a talented dude. Bobby is a stud. And he never loses a fight. No. And he gets into a lot of fights. <laughs> he seems to, yes. Looks like JR's left his mark. There's JR's 
of Dallas. And this one is Sue Ellen's. And they're right next door to each other. That's fun. After this episode, they started filming in California. So you'll notice that they're on a sound stage and also some of the places and locations around Dallas are actually places around Los Angeles. Yeah, but it's important to note they did return to Dallas each season for about two months in the summer. So we have future videos for the next season. So don't forget to watch our next video where you can see the season three Dallas filming location. <laughs>